but after owning a Surface Pen for a few months now, I think I can say it is an extremely comfortable tool for non-artists as well. In my opinion, it has the potential to streamline your workflow, reduce friction drastically to increase productivity. One of the best features of Surface Pen is definitely software, which is Windows 10. For the last few years, Microsoft has been trying to develop a touch-friendly operating system, and honestly, Windows 10 is not perfect for touch. But on the path to make this perfect touch and type hybrid of sorts, they have come up with something that works extremely well with the stylus device. The first thing that you will love about Surface Pen is the ability to enter text on Windows 10 apps. As soon as you tap a text box with a Surface Pen, the text box will turn into a handwriting recognition text input. You can simply scribble the text you want to enter with your Surface Pen, and the best part that it is also compatible with third-party apps. In my use case, it is definitely useful when I'm quickly editing and adding tasks on Todoist. I don't think there's a need to mention that Surface Pen can also be used to mark up documents, but I think it's worth mentioning that Windows is expanding the Surface Pen support to almost all aspects of Windows 10. For instance, if you press the button on the back of a Surface Pen to take screenshots, it jumps to the Snip and Sketch application, where you can mark up the picture before you want to save it or you want to share it. Microsoft has also updated sticky notes to accept pen input. I use my Surface Pen on a daily basis to mark up scripts on OneNote. On the other hand, the original Edge browser that ships with Windows 10 supports Pen very well. You can mark up any web page that you want, but I think that's not as useful as being able to fill and sign PDFs. If I have a PDF that I want to sign, I can simply open it with Microsoft Edge and sign it and share it via email using the share menu. Yes, you can take handwritten notes with a Surface Pen. In my personal opinion, when you compare the Surface Pen to something like Apple Pencil, the rubber tip of the Surface Pen on the glass of the Surface Pro provides just enough friction to have full control while taking handwritten notes. I think the response rate of Surface Pen is almost like 30 milliseconds slower, but there is no way you can identify that. The best part of taking notes with a Surface Pen over any other stylus in the market right now is the ability to erase with the back. Flipping the pen to erase is definitely one of the most natural gestures that one could implement, and I believe almost everyone has a muscle memory to pull that off involuntarily. OneNote is definitely one of the best apps for any form of notes. It supports handwritten notes, type notes, you can choose a template to suit your needs, and a bonus feature is the ability to enter math equations and shapes using their specific inputs. If you are someone who can't write in a straight line on a blank white screen, you can also enable rule lines and grids to mimic a real life notebook. As I mentioned before, Windows 10 is a touch and type hybrid operating system that inherently puts Surface Pen at an advantage because it can be used as an extremely precise touch tool. What I really mean by that is that you can use your Surface Pen as a touch tool, but you can also act as a mouse if you need it. I usually use my Surface Pro at 150% scaling, and some apps are definitely not good at scaling at that level. That results in some extremely small objects that are really hard to interact with, especially in this tablet mode. The Surface Pen actually has this air view kind of thing. It basically points to the thing that it's going to tap on right before you touch the screen. That's exactly when the Surface Pen comes in handy. You can use it to tap whatever area you want on the screen to interact with. You can use it to select multiple items if you hold the button on the side. You can also use the same button to imitate a right click. I think it's a godsend if you don't have a mouse, Surface Pen is definitely one of those things that can do the job. And finally, Surface Pen is so useful only because it is there when you need it. And when you don't need it, you can simply stick it to the side of your tablet and forget about it. One of the best underrated features of Surface Pen is the removable battery. I've been extensively using my Surface Pen for six months and I haven't replaced the battery yet and it is at like 80 something percent. And the fact that it is a removable battery actually gives me peace of mind. I won't have to throw away the pen when the battery dies or doesn't hold the charge anymore. That's a worry I have with my Apple Pencil. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want any more videos like these, I will leave some right here. And thank you for watching. This is Geek.